incredible, isn't it? Plenty of bees there. It's not a great deal in there, but there's the bits that are shiny, it's the nectar that's coming back in where they're starting to build up again, put supplies back into the hive after the rainy weather that we've had. When it was a fishing club, they had swims in there and there. Now, you know, we shut all those, so the fish have got like a sanctuary where they come in. Um, so peaceful as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You just feel the tranquility now. I don't think there's too much honey in this one. I think they've... Uh, so when you put this back on then, do you brush these ones off or do they? Um, just they'll they'll go on or, or we can shake them, shake yeah. them on. I mean, put that back on if you want to, just yeah. to pick that one up. Just give it a, turn it on its side so that it's over so you're shaking any bees and you just, you know, okay, good. just give it a quick shake. And, uh, but yeah, that was a real uh, interesting uh, to, to see that today. It was uh, certainly changed my opinion of bees as well. So I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, really, really, really good. Oh, fantastic, actually, because again, I suppose when you're in the garden and you're looking at uh, what you always think is a queen bee, but actually the way it was explained today, knowing that a queen bee is, is not necessarily something like this, but a longer bee as well, and the way that the bee was marked as well. So uh, really fascinated, really, really, uh, really enjoyed it. A big eye opener for us today. So. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Come and get them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Richard Stock, the sales manager for Star Platforms. We were introduced to iCarp um, a few months back now from a, a mutual friend of ours um, who said, um, was telling us really about um, the, the benefits um, that iCarp brought to the, to the local community. Um, but what we also have uh, part of our business is obviously supporting local charities. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have um, one of our machines that yeah. uh, when the machine goes out on hire, we use the uh, money to, uh, from that hire um, to support local charities like yourselves. And yeah. I'm pleased obviously to be here today with you, Mark, um, to, uh, to, to inform us a bit more about the charity yeah, uh, that sure. we're supporting. Yeah, so Mark, over to you. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you, Richard. So, Star Platforms have very kindly um, donated some money for us to purchase some what they call supers it's a part of the beehive i think we're going to see some footage of the bees in a, in a minute but without that support from you we wouldn't have been able to, to buy those extra this extra space for the bees um, all the honey that is created by them goes back goes into funding coming back into the center and the center is run as you rightly say for vulnerable groups um, it could be military veterans suffering from uh, ptsd or other mental health issues uh, emergency services, 999 personnel, community mental health team, we've got the community mental health team today here, having a bit of a visit today. Um, vulnerable young people, refugees, there's, there's numerous different groups we work with, so your very generous um, support will, will help and benefit all those people. And you know, we want to thank sort of the underdog crew for coming down and documenting what, what you're doing today put together this little film for us which we're really grateful for but yeah we, we really really are appreciative and you're helping a lot of people with their help so thank you that's great that's great to hear and uh, the fun starts now where i'm going to be introduced to the bees lovely good luck <laughs>